Hey folks, Vince Bruzio here from PreviewsWorld.com. It's still Wednesday night, opening night here at San Diego Comic-Con 2012, and the man himself, Darwin Cook, is here to say a few words to us, sir. Thank you so much. You've been you've been signing all day. You must be dead tired. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's Wednesday, you know. It's like just the first lap. So uh, this is a this is a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting started. Yeah, well, you got a lot of people walking around here that's going to be looking for this new book coming out now. Parker, right, is now out in full force. And you know, what can you tell us about the new book? Uh, the new book's kind of a lot more fun, I think, than the last two. The first two books are very, you know, sort of fundamental to understanding Parker and where he comes from and the type of guy he is. But with this book, we get to really cut loose just with, with like a crazy robbery and, and the group of characters he pulls in to do the job with. It's a lot more indicative of, of all the Parker books. The Hunter and the Outfit are very much setup books. Uh, but this is just, you know, 12 guys cutting loose on this ridiculously uh, audacious uh, robbery. And uh, you get to meet a lot of the a lot of the guys who make the series interesting, a lot of the people he works with. Right. Now, in terms of where the story is going to be going in the future, because you're basing this off of work that's been, you know, done probably before, you know, maybe even I was born, I don't know, I'm going to be 44, 45 years old, something like that, I don't know. But in terms of, like, how far you might want to go with this series, has anybody approached you about possibly taking a different direction with the character or maybe doing some kind of an offshoot or, like, maybe you thought about maybe doing a, a one shot or maybe single issue can contain stories yeah we're talking about all kinds of things at this point I mean uh, the, the project with Parker has been very successful so uh, we feel blessed by that and uh, his estate which is basically his family uh, are really thrilled with with the work as well so we're, we've expanded out we're looking at doing five books now okay. and a one shot like about a 48 pager okay and Scott every day is trying to talk me into more so we've gone from four to five and a half already <laughs> so the game keeps changing right every day <laughs> which is great you know uh, I love this guy and I can picture working on uh, Parker for the rest of my life you know as long as they'll have me and uh, you know as long as we can continue to do good work and people want it uh, I love working on these well, people seem to be impressed with what you're doing so far because, from what I can tell from the line that you had here not too long ago, nobody is uh, shying away from knowing that Darwin Cook is here at San Diego Comic-Con. I guess, but you know, I, I can't really take all the credit here. It's, this is Donald's character, and, and Donald's the one who made him great. He's also the one who made the stories great. So, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do it justice. That's a very humble opinion, sir. That's very humble. Well, it's the truth. And that's even more admired. The truth is a humbling <laughs> thing, man. Well, you somewhere in the middle, you know, found time to do a, uh, do a uh, shirt for us for free comic book day for the uh, previous catalog. So that was pretty cool. A lot of fun. That, that shirt was fun to do, actually. Yeah, uh, Mark Chirello got a hold of me about that. And, uh, yeah, I just thought, let's do something real dumb and fun, you know? Like, 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 and, you know, uh, Sergio had just done the one bef the year before. And I looked at that, and it's like, well, I can't do a comic store. Obviously, Sergio's kind of covered that. Right. Yeah. So uh, I came up with the idea I had, and uh, I, I, I'm glad you guys like it. We were very happy to make sure that uh, we were able to get it out there to the public because people ate it up. So they did. <laughs> because I'm, I'm finding a hard time thinking somebody who was just handing me a shirt. You know, I had to scramble for my own. So... Somebody was out there buying the shirt. Sir, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today. I mean, I really, really appreciate the, your time. I mean, is there anything that uh, you might want to throw out there in terms of how people might be able to see you online? Is there a Facebook page or a Twitter page something like that you might want to call out? I'm not on the Twitter or the Facebook, so no, not really. Uh, there's a blog called Almost Darwin Cook's Blog, and it never gets updated. Well, you know, <laughs> every three months. Um, and that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I... Uh, Sorry, guys, but that, that's how it goes. I don't have a destination like that. you got to kind of track me down in person. When it's time to call the end of the day, it's time to call the end of the day, right? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us today, sir. Best of luck to you in the future. Thanks. Keep up the good work. Folks, keep the faith. Keep reading comics. Sign up, San Diego. <laughs>